and the Director General of Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Chikwe Ihekwazu, has stressed the need for proper surveillance and risk communication system to test and ascertain the real data of COVID-19 cases in the Southeast region. The NCDC boss, while paying a courtesy visit to the Imo State Governor, Hope Uzadima Inoweri, said although many cases have not been reported in the zone, but there is need for government to carry out adequate tests in order to be sure. The governor of Imo State, Hope Uzadima, said the coronavirus outbreak has shown that Nigeria needs to pay more attention to the health sector. By conscious of the need to preserve the lives of Imo people, the government of Imo State is committed to the enforcement of a total lockdown order of movement of persons except for those on essential services from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. That the government of Imo State hereby imposes a dusk to dawn coffee in all parts of the state, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., effective Saturday 18th, to further notice. The borders leading in and out of Imo State are hereby closed, effective Saturday 18th, to further notice. That only Imo indigents returning from outside Imo State shall be admitted into the state on condition of proper identification that they subject themselves to test of COVID-19 and are quarantined for 14 days before entering the state. That anyone who violates this order shall be liable to seven days of community service and a fine in lieu in this order. Tri cycles, 7,000 naira. Motorbikes, 7,000 naira. Border closure violators, 10,000 naira. Cars, 20,000 naira. Trucks, 50,000 naira. This executive order number 001 2020 is hereby signed this day, Friday, April 17th, 2020, at the Government House, Oweri. I therefore urge all citizens and residents in Imo State to comply to the provisions of this executive order. And this order is being forwarded to the judiciary for the special cause, mobile cause already set up to handle offenders. Thank you very much. We'll take a quick break. More news after this.